welcome to another day with Jesus, a daily devotional podcast to help you walk with Jesus, live for Jesus and represent Jesus. Now let us open our heart to receive as Pastor Preji shares from the heart of God. Greetings in Jesus' precious name. Welcome to this amazing new day, new morning, new season that the Lord has blessed us with. This month, we are going to be more than conquerors. The Lord is expecting us to march out there and get back everything that the enemy has stolen from us. This includes our relationship with God. It includes financial blessings that the enemy has kept away. This includes generational bondages, strongholds that the enemy has put into our families from our ancestors' times. And it is now even manifesting even our uh, relationships, our responses to problems, our challenges, the things that we face on a day-to-day basis. This season, we are going to get each and every one of them back. The Lord wants to restore His plans, His heart for your life. Are you ready to receive it? Are you ready to take it by force? The Bible talks about this story in Mark chapter 10 and verse 48. This is about a blind man who got snubbed by the people around him. It says, Be quiet! Many of the people yelled at him, but he only shouted louder, Son of David, have mercy on me. This is all the people around this blind man who is stopping him, who is limiting him, who is putting restrictions on how much he can receive, how much he can talk, how much he can pray, how much he can relate with God. And yet the Bible says the more they snubbed him, the more they tried to stifle him, the more they tried to quieten him down, the more he shouted out louder saying, Son of David. You know, that was the relationship that he had with Jesus. He knew that this is the son of David and he knew that he is also of the people of Israel and the son of David was supposed to come to help and heal and deliver the nation of Israel. And so understanding his relationship with the king of kings who was supposed to come through the lineage of David, he called out saying, son of David, have mercy on me. Now today, I know that you and I, we may have several voices that are trying to lower our intensity. Several people that are trying to draw us away from the presence of God. Several relationships that are going to constantly work to try and make sure that your relationship with God doesn't catch fire. But will you aim, will you pursue the presence of God like never before? Will you choose to make all of these life situation only motivate you to pursue God all the more. So often when we see difficult situations, we get discouraged and we think that God doesn't care for me. God is not trying to help me at all. God is ignoring me. God doesn't love me. He's not talking to me. He's not expressing his heart and love for me. And yet, guess what? God is very, very close to you. You know, in this particular story, the Bible says that Jesus was so close to this man that he could reach out his voice, he could increase the intensity of his voice, and he could touch the heart of Jesus. And I have that good news for you. Irrespective of who is surrounding you, what is trying to stifle you or snub you, you are at the at a reachable distance from the presence of God. In fact, God is constantly doing everything possible so that you can see how near He is to you. He is not unaware of your problem, but He is at a reachable distance to you. But if you will take the step of drawing near to Him, He is going to draw near to you. If you are going to take the step of shouting out your heartbeat, shouting out your desire for Him, 
shouting out your dependency on him in this season if you're going to pursue after god afresh then god is going to reveal himself afresh to you god is going to show himself in a way that will blow your mind off can you pray with me this morning that every attitude every habit every sin every struggle every challenge every relationship every generational ancestral you know lineage related issues that is coming down in your life can you believe with me that every one of those things that stands in your relationship with god that stands in your ability to relate with jesus will be silenced this morning that they will not have the final authority that you will be the violent that will take what rightfully belongs to you by force that you will not say uh, uh, okay to the people that are trying to snub you out you will not just sit down bend over and roll over under the opposition under all these persecution trials tribulations that the enemy is throwing at you jesus said in this world you are going to have troubles you are going to have problems and persecutions but take heart because i have overcome the world so i am near to you my dear son i am near to your family struggle i am near to that bill payment issues that you are struggling with i am near to that health issue i am near to that a uh, problem of relationship that you're struggling with i am near in each and every area of your life will you depend on me will you receive my wisdom that i want to give you will you take heart and follow me will you work with me up close and personal in this season if you will call out to me i will answer says the lord if you will knock the door will open for you if you will seek you will find and if you will come looking for it you are not going to be disappointed may the lord cause your pursuit of his presence to be rewarded with honor and answers from heaven thank you for tuning in this morning have a blessed and a beautiful day ahead we hope you are encouraged by today's podcast To know more about Pastor Preeji or other resources you can avail or to receive help in any specific area, connect with us at pastorpreeji.com. We wish you a Christ-filled day ahead.